G'day and welcome to Quiznova's Gaming. Uh, in this episode, we'll be teaching you the very basics of how to use Auto Drive. Um, we won't talk, touch on course play right now. Uh, I just want to start with the real basics of Auto Drive, and throughout the series, I'll hopefully just teach you a little bit more about it and how you can use it and make life a bit easier with it. So, um, just to start off with, to toggle Auto Drive the controls you're going to want to hit your left alt key and the zero button and that will toggle onto it should be on the right hand side the auto drive controls and again just click it again left alt and zero key and it'll take away so that's just how you toggle that on and off now to go from moving the camera for your tractor or point of view if you click your scroll wheel in, get your nice cursor and now you'll be able to interact with the auto drive settings. Now the real basics of this are if you're wanting to go through anything just left click on it and right click will go backwards through it. Now to start with we'll just show you the basics of how to record a course. So in the bottom right you'll see the edit mode so let's click that and it's going to open up another menu. Now you can see in the background there's some routes I've already created and we'll be using them in future episodes but for right now we'll just focus on doing a little route for you guys so all you want to do is hit the record button with the left now hitting that you'll get a nice red circle pop up with an arrow and this is so forward momentum so if we start driving we should and you can see get some green lines with forward arrows. So this means your vehicle will follow that through going forwards. Now I'm going to just circle all the way back around to it. And if we click this again, it'll end your route. Now you can see they're not linked up. So if you now get to the last node you did, left click it. So you see it'll go blue. So left click that. Now the node's gone green. So now if you click another node you want to connect it to, they should link. So let's left click over here. And now our routes are connected. So now that we've done that, let's uh, put a little waypoint in. So this is where you'll be able to travel to. So you can see the little red line above our vehicle. So now it's connected to this node here. That means that's the node we're actually interacting with. So if we come back down here and just click this little waypoint symbol. So left click it. I'm just going to call this test. And then just hit the enter. So now you can see test has come up on that waypoint. So this is the drive mode. So this is generally what you'll start using when you just wanted to send a vehicle somewhere. So let's find, you can see I've got a few already built here, but let's just find test down the bottom. And this here, and it will be in edit mode or non-edit mode, this here is actually going to start the vehicle. So I'm not driving this now. So you can see I can click about, do whatever, and I can't do anything to it. So it's just completely driving itself and not touching the accelerator or anything so very useful for sending that vehicle maybe to a field if you set a waypoint up to a farm or maybe where you've left some trailers like the shop for example if you set one up it's very helpful so that's the real basics of it now if you're wanting to delete the waypoint for example that we've created here just make sure in this area you've got your waypoint selected Go to your edit mode. So this is a waypoint edit mode. Click it. Now you've got the option to rename. So as it suggests, it'll let you rename that. Once you've typed in a new point here, you can reset or delete. So if we hit the space bar, oh, sorry, let's hit the delete bar. <laughs> and there you go. So now it's got rid of that waypoint for us. So it's pretty handy, especially if you've maybe moved areas and want to get rid of, you've got too many waypoints, you're just wanting to neaten things up. It's a good way to get rid of some of them. Now another thing is, with your little nodes, you can see if we hover over one, if you hold down left alt and left click it, it will actually delete the node. So you can go through and just keep clicking away, deleting the nodes. Now another way you can do this, if we just drive over, so you can see we've got the red line again, so it's stretching, stretching, it's always trying to find the closest node to us. You can now click the delete node. So this will actually delete whatever node we're connected to right now. So 
This can actually be easy if you're following it and you haven't got a really complex, tons of different routes all close together. And you can actually just start going through and deleting them away like that. So now I've got rid of all our nodes. So that's the real basics of it, guys. I really hope this helps. Um, and throughout the series, we'll basically go through and show you a few different cool things you can do with this and course play as well. So thanks for listening, guys, and I hope you liked it. Thank you. Bye.